she wanted, asked to be on the show today. I did not, I am not forcing her. The last time she was on, she was doing, she had some homework to do and it looked like I was forcing her. I was not. But tonight I'm, she volunteered to come on and say hi to you guys. She ha is motivated because she is working on a quilt. Hold on. Oh, there. Facebook is already up. Look at me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Say hi if you're joining me. Tell me where you're from. Um, hopefully my girls are going to be popping on here in a minute. I will give everybody the 411 here in just one second and tell you what we're doing today. Why don't you introduce yourself while I'm getting everything up? Everybody already knows me. <laughs> Do they though, Ray? Yes. Well, tell, no, but tell every if they're new people on. Hi, guys. Hello. What's your name? Reagan. But what are we doing on here? But people call me Ray. It is Ray. Yes. I am making a quilt. <laughs> okay. Maybe with a little bit more excitement so it doesn't look like I'm forcing you. <laughs> You're forcing me to cut. Guess so. guess who's on tonight? What? Grandma. Oh, which grandma? The grandma whose birthday it is today. So should we sing her happy birthday really quick? No. Yes, we should. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Yay! Thanks for coming on. Oh. <laughs> oh, Sarah's on. Hi, guys. Okay. I'm going to say hi to everybody in just a second, but I just want to tell you if my name is Darlene and this is Ray and we're with Featherweight Doctor and we are a small but busy little featherweight shop. Our goal in life is to make these little machines famous and we do so by having these little live events a couple times a week. We also have a fully stocked and robust website on all of the bits, pieces, parts uh, having to do with the 221s and the 222s. And if you want to go check it out, um, our website is www.featherweightdoctor.com. Uh, I just wanted to get it out there, who we are and what we're doing. This show is about finding our happy place. This is what I call a low content environment, content rich environment. We are literally sitting on camera with you for the next hour. We're sewing on our favorite little featherweights. Actually, Reagan's cutting the quilt out, but, um, and I am sipping my favorite beverage of choice. So, and I have my Christmas shirt on, whoop, whoop, whoop. It's after Thanksgiving, you can totally do that. Okay, let me say hi to all of my friends real quick. I said, Linda, hi, mom. Mom's on, Pam, Lisa Meadows, I'm coming to see you in next month, assuming your governor allows the state to stay open, that is. Uh, Sue, hi Sue from New York, thanks for joining us. I see Mr. Lawrence from Ohio, I hope you're doing well today. Sarah's on, <laughs> she goes, Reagan. <laughs> uh, Julia's on from Texas, she says, hey. Nancy from Lake Stevens, my friend Becky is on from um, Kennedale, Texas, Kathleen Rogers from SoCal, hi Kathleen, oh, mom wants to know, grandma wants to know, oh, Lisa says, happy birthday, grandma, <laughs> um, oh, goodness gracious, uh, Mary, hi Mary, oh, she says we both have beautiful eyes. She's got my eyes. <laughs> oh, you guys are so cute, oh, good, Judy, your tag arrived, fabulous, all right, so, mom wants to know what you want for Christmas. <laughs> She's like, I don't know if this is appropriate. I don't know. Gift cards? <laughs> she does like to shop. <laughs> oh, and Judy's from Massachusetts. That's right. Oh. <laughs> okay, you sneak in, Lisa. <laughs> All right, who's on from... Um, from uh, YouTube, we have Elizabeth from Indiana. Hi, sweetheart. Elizabeth, ladies and gentlemen, Lawrence is on, so I can say gentlemen. Uh, Elizabeth, from our, my friend from Indiana on YouTube's uh, shopping card has been revoked. She just bought her seventh featherweight, and I'm officially <laughs> revoking her license to shop. She promises that she will get them all cleaned up and running well and find some of them new homes so they can get used. Okay, 
And Mary Zahn from Spokane Valley. Hi, sweetheart. Thanks for joining. All right. Oh, Grandma says Amazon cart. Sarah says Schitt's Creek sweatshirt. I wish. <laughs> We've been watching a lot of this television show called Schitt's Creek. On It's on Netflix. It was one of the most delightfully funny shows this season. We were not expecting it. Um, it just came out of nowhere and kind of captivated us. You have to, if you get started on it, you kind of have to sit through a good first half of the season. It just gets better. I promise the trajectory is straight to enjoyment. So you definitely want to. <laughs> Lisa says only seven machines. Yes, Lisa, only seven machines. You have plans for yours, though. You're willing some to grandchildren, and that's different. Not just having seven machines, just to have seven machines. <laughs> All right, let me show you what we're working on tonight on our sip and sew. So I have been doing the Journey to Nebula. I'm sure you, I've talked about it. And it's the um, Tula Pink. I know, big fat shocker. I've said Tula Pink in the first 10 minutes of the show. Uh, the Tula Pink block of the month for next year um hosted and created by jaybird quilts and it's like a all year thing next year and so in an effort to kind of get everybody up and going and ready for the big project next year which promises no y seams promises no y seams they've done this journey to nebula with some of their little littler patterns like this is a pillow topper i did this well, a few months ago for halloween stuff and I just put it up because Christmas has come out. So I thought I would do the candy dish pillow topper for um, for Christmas fabrics. Not realizing, maybe she said this in one of her videos, which I did not watch. Watch that this is a 20 inch pillow, which I have a 20 inch form for. And then this is only a 16 inch pillow. So in order to use the same form and not have extra forms lying around, I went ahead and put a two inch border all the way around the outside because I needed a 20 inch pillow topper, not a 16. Hi, Penny. Penny's a local friend. She was in a workshop in Snohomish, <laughs> getting ready to make a wine table. See, tis the season, wine table runner, I love it. Oh, <laughs> Emmy says, hi, Rajin. <laughs> Emmy is watching with her mommy on the show and she's one of my favorite two year olds of all times. And in fact, I was just talking about pirouettes, those cookies that are just so evil because you can only eat 14 of them. Um, and so uh, Emmy calls these chookies instead of cookies. It's very cute. Chookies. All right. So I'm working on this today. Ray, what are you working on? Cutting the quilt. Yes. Tell them about the quilt. <laughs> I don't know. You, you do it. Is it a quilt for a friend? No. Oh, no. It's for me. It, okay. <sighs> Eat a sugar. Eat some sugar. I you need to perk it. up. <laughs> I've already had 10. She's already had 10 cookies. <laughs> All right. Oh, Mary says she's doing the Bonnie Hunter mystery quilt that started today. That's fun. I have several friends who are devoted followers of her. That's pretty awesome. We would like to see some pictures as you go. And do you, Miss Mary, are you using your featherweight? Oh, she goes, Emmy now wants cookies. <laughs> that one's your fault, so. <laughs> Sorry, Emmy. <laughs> I'll try to have some for you tomorrow, but there's no guarantee with this crew. Just for the record... Oh, Mom, notice my Christmas quilt. Yes, the Christmas quilts have started coming out. Come on, Ray, don't be shy, Lisa says. You've got some of me in there. No. 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 She's all me on the outside and her dad on the inside. Sure. <laughs> okay, so Ray wants me to make this quilt for her. And if you remember a couple weeks ago, I was... No, we're both making it together. Oh, Sorry. We are both making this quilt. Since you're making me cutting, it's a dual. Thing. I'm making her cut. That's what, she's mad at me, so she doesn't want she doesn't want to cut her own quilt out. Yes, she's using her featherweight. Good job, Mary, in Spokane Valley. Okay, so this quilt I did that baby quilt with this. I don't remember. Kind of at the end of quarantine for some friends in Illinois, and it was so S E W cute that Reagan was like, Mom, 
I want this. Oh, and I did one. Well, I didn't technically do this one. I just did the finishing work on it. But this one was the two color version for my son, which still has to go to Hawaii. So this is the lab quilt size. I still have to put the binding on. I know. Shame on me. Um, and then Ray wants the bed size. The problem with the bed side, size is what? It's too long width. Yeah, it's, it's narrow and like it's skinny and long. So it's a 74 by 99, which means that the 99 on her queen size bed will go practically to the beginning of the bed frame. But then the 74 head to toe is short. It's like nothing. So we're going to add um, a border. We're going to add a border so it's not quite so rectangular to these side seams here. So she's going to show you what fabric she picked out. First... Do you see the, we started out with, hold on, I'll show you. So she likes to kind of, not mood board, but she likes to kind of color board things out. So we started off with a palette. Oh, let's see if I can, hold on. Hold on, you hold please. The there, so here's our palette. Didn't quite follow it. Okay. And we didn't quite follow it, but we came close. So we'll show you the colors here in a minute. So Becky, hi Becky, says, I have to tell y'all, my husband found us another featherweight. You're another one I'm revoking your shopping card. Ow. Oh, actually he found one for him. That's cool. And one for me. <laughs> I have a white one in my collection. Girl, you got, I feel like I've created a bunch of little monsters. That's awesome though. I, I just leave, at least you guys will take care of the machines and they're not going to just get put in a closet and forgotten for 30 years. Oh, mom says she put up all the Christmas quilts you've made me today. That's awesome. All right, so let's show your color palette. So we're doing kind of a neutral tan. For the background. We wanted more of a charcoal gray, but we couldn't quite find a charcoal gray, but we were like this. It's nice and neutral. Her whole room is kind of like bohemian, so real neutral. So this is, a, this is predominantly going to be this color. And then there's a pop of four colors. So we have the, um, it's kind of a mustardy yellow. And then this pretty blue. This one's my favorite. And then look at this rust. That is going to be so pretty. And then a lighter, like a cream. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to be cutting those out tonight. So the, the basic pattern has you, it's available in three different sizes. Um, and... So you can do a two color quilt or the four colors with the one background. So let's, we're gonna do the four colors with the one background. Okay, so let's get started on some cutting, shall we? No. <laughs> and I'll get going on some, oh yeah, it's a mushroom color rose. Yes, it is exactly a mushroom color. Okay, so we are going to cut four inch strips from color number one. You're going to cut I know this isn't straight, right? Yeah, it's okay. You just have to push down. So color number one, you're going to cut six four inch, not four and a half, four inch uh, strips. So find a place to put that so that you can, we don't forget which one's which because it gets confusing. I figured that out the hard way with the baby quilt. Lisa loves the colors. So does Becky. Hi, Sandra Garcia. Oh, she said, love your hair. I missed the last show. Loved your mother-in-law's. Yes. <laughs> you saw my pie? You guys, I had pie for lunch. <laughs> and Reagan was very quick to point out that that was the best apple pie I have ever made. True. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do... Here is we're gonna square up our edge first. Actually, this is pretty straight, so we're gonna just roll with it. And then I want you to just set the four on here, like so, lining up the, you know, the X and the Y quadrant. And then you're just gonna push down. Okay, there's cut number one. So you need five more of these, and you can work your way across the board. Okay, she just smacked me. So I got it, Mom, I got it. Hi, Deanna Hartman, how are you? Do you pre-wash? Bonnie, that's a good question. 
I do not pre-wash. I was watching a show one time. Um, what? Well, you slid. <laughs> well, it's pretty hard on this thing, so. Do we need to lower the table? No, I just think I need the cutting table. Okay, so I was watching a show one time, Bonnie, and there was, they were, it was on like one of those Saturday morning quilting shows that they used to have on PBS, and <clears throat> they, uh, we're interviewing a quilter who was 100 years old. And they asked her on the sewing, I don't remember if it was like sewing with Nancy or whatever, do you pre-wash your fabrics? And she was like, I could be dead tomorrow. I don't pre-wash my fabrics. I'm 100 years old. And I thought, you know what? If that lady doesn't do it, I'm not going to do it either. Um, the, the rule is not hard for me if it's a quilt that has like a black and a white like a lot of color gradation in it. I will wash those fabrics just so there isn't any bleeding. Um, I buy only really good fabrics. I don't buy inexpensive fabrics. And so I, I've only been burned one time on not pre-washing my fabrics. from, the, And that's with 25 years of quilting. And I don't know how many quilts a year. I mean, that's a lot of quilts. And I've only had a problem one time. Uh, and so, no, we, don't, we do not pre-wash we do not pre-wash fabrics. You need six. Okay. Okay. So I am just doing a echoing W pattern. I'm going to go to my low camera here so you guys can see what I'm doing. I hoped everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I know it was a weird year for everybody. Um, not all of it bad either. I think sometimes it's nice to have uh, a quiet holiday to remember what it is we're really thankful for. And since Thanksgiving is all about being thankful, um, there's nothing like a distraction-free holiday to really help figure that out. Okay. Oh yes, um, that's true. Judy Judy said that the the shout um, color catching sheets that they sell in the dryer sec section. Oh, you already did six. Oh, okay. She's faster than I thought. Okay, so the next color, color two, you need to cut. Okay, so we're just gonna cut two, and then two, and then two. Actually, I think you need seven. Oh, that's empty. Hold on. One, um, two. Yeah, you need two, 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 so seven. How did you fold it? Oh, so it's in quadrants this way. Make sure everything is lined up because otherwise you get weird bias catches and this one I would square off a little bit because it's a little bit more jagged I know I know I'm not supposed to be cutting towards myself before someone scolds me let's do as I say not as I do the camera's all the wrong way. oh okay good. <laughs> good you guys didn't see me breaking the the golden rule how many I'm um, seven four, four inch all right. Is that your quilt or quilting for someone else? Oh, uh, no, this is Ray's quilt, Mom. Ray wants wants a new bed quilt for her for her bedroom. Linda Wood says, I do not pre-wash, but majority of the ladies in my quilting group always wash. It's really a preference thing. It really is. All right. <sighs> Kelly says, oh, you almost missed me? Kelly is on, over on Instagram. She says, I almost blew this one. <laughs> Hello.
you already have your crab dinner, Mom? For your birthday? Yeah, oh, what I'm on, I am, it's a pillow topper for upstairs. Uh, so it's technically for me. I don't know about you guys, but I love doing those little pillow toppers because they're like mini quilts and they're really easy to do on the featherweight. Your rogue. Rogue's outside going, mm, no one loves me. Because otherwise he'll be her barking at the door. Oh, Bonnie says that the cutting part is her least favorite part about quilting. Hers too. <laughs> Hers too. Mary from Seattle said, I, I wash because my mother washed and Miss Warnick, my sewing teacher, said to wash. It's an old habit. She said, plus I love to iron and put away clean fabric. Okay. <laughs> Mary, you like to iron? I I do not enjoy ironing. Ironing is just part of the process for me. Kelly M. from YouTube says, I was sewing little felt animals today. That's pretty awesome. Mm. Crab, Dungeness Crab is a lot of work, Mom, but well worth the work. your favorite um, Christmas traditions uh, one of the things <clears throat> so one of the things that I like most uh, about Christmas is is all of the memories associated with all the good memories associated with it um, when I pull out start pulling out my Christmas stuff I remember you know gifts and ornaments from friends and uh, you know all of our little traditions like, I have this cute little nativity set that came from Mexico, so it's made out of clay, and it's really cool, and so it reminds me of my time living <laughs> in northern Mexico. We call it Scottsdale, uh, and so there's just lots of really good memories associated with bringing things out. Oh, uh, Karen Dominguez, hi. Thanks for joining us. She wants to know what kind of attachment is on my machine. I am using a um, the vintage original walking foot. Okay, it's called the Penguin, and it's a very, very rare attachment that uh, that you can sometimes, rarely, but you can sometimes find them for the featherweight. Um, they will run you about a thousand dollars if you can find one. It's they are very expensive little things. We do sell. Uh, aftermarket walking feet that sell for about $30 uh, that you can use for straight quilting on your featherweight. Um, they're not they're not the best in the entire world but they really do fit well and they do what they're designed to do which is to move multiple layers of fabric through the neck of the machine. So you could check them out on our website. Renata, hi! How's your machine? <laughs> she says I'm working on a jewel box quilt sewed with my featherweight but I'm quilting on my Juki 2010. Quilting is, if you're doing anything of any size or, you know, uh, significance, working on a modern machine is definitely the way to go. I have that uh, older version of that same Juki, and that has a big fat throat in it, and it's very high speed. It'll take your finger off if you're not watching. That is a fabulous machine for quilting. <laughs> I did. My, I, my mom was just pointing out on Facebook that... Um, my sisters were all we were all together earlier this month for my birthday last week and we did get some um king crab legs to have a big crab fest that was that was good what number are we on okay let's see uh six four inch does this look squirty um i would trim you want me to start the edge since it's sewing at your okay no one scold me i'm gonna cut towards myself this is a big no-no for all of you newbie quilters out there. You are not supposed to uh, cut into yourself with the rotary cutter. But I'm too uh, impatient to keep flipping the fabric around, so. <laughs> okay. Oh, Elizabeth, <laughs> the most recent machine you taught me to fix had a hot motor issue. She's my favorite machine so far, but I, 
Um, but I say that each time I get one cleaned and running. It's true. You do say that every time. Renata, I love my featherweight. It's perfect. But this, is, oh yeah. No, no. Queen size quilt. Definitely on the jukey. Where should I be measuring the bottom from? So you, any of the horizontal, oh, oh, you want to measure it on your cut edge. So up here. You can, you want to flip the fabric around? No. So it's, so it's up here on the fold. Renata bought one of my, I think it was a Centennial, wasn't it, Renata? Uh, and I shipped it off to um, New England. So I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Don't screw it up, Ray. That's why you cut. You know what? She, so my mother-in-law taught her how to cut, and she holds the rotary cutter like my mother-in-law does, not like I do. How are you supposed to hold it? No, you're you're doing everything great, but you you're holding it like like Nancy, not like mom. And how do you hold it? Just different. You're doing everything right. I hold it like it's a handle. <laughs> Lisa Meadows, my buddy in AZ, says we love to watch It's a Wonderful Life and let it snow every year at Christmas time. Oh, we have some Christmas movies that we watch. Die Hard is on the list. The first Die Hard was definitely a Christmas movie. Actually, all the Die Hards are Christmas movie movies. And if my husband's going to make him watch the Hallmark rom-coms, he said that he gets a Die Hard or two in there, too. So we love four, four, four Christmases, right? We love Christmas with the Cranks, Good Lord, um, the co comedic duo of Tim, the tool man, Taylor, and Jamie Lee Curtis is priceless. What else do we watch? We sometimes watch Elf. Yeah, sometimes we watch Elf. Well, we kind of overwatched Elf for a little for a while when the kids were small. So, oh goodness. Oh, okay. Christmas vacation. We watch it. Oh, Christmas vacation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, it is a centennial. I couldn't remember. I thought it was, and it's so smooth. I I really did so really nice, Renata. All right, Miss Kelly M. In sisters, I'm sitting here watching you guys, and the guys are outside. Fire pit going with a drone. It keeps hovering in front of the <laughs> hovering in front of the window, spying on me. Boys, they are diehard rules. Amen. My kids love that movie. There is some colorful language in it, just for you ladies that are not about the colorful language. It is a fair deal, Lisa. Mm. Julia from Texas says, Scrooge is my fave and Elf. It is hard to believe that Elf with Will Ferrell came out in 2003. Isn't that crazy? That's like forever ago. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Reagan was born in 2003. <laughs> His recent movie, Hard Kill. Oh, yeah, the skiing one, that wasn't very good. I heard. I didn't actually see it. Oh, Lawrence says, love actually. I, Ray can't watch it. There's a couple scenes, but I love that movie. Fran. Hi, Fran. When winding my bobbin, it slips or doesn't spin lightly. What should I do to fix this? Oh, you have, okay, we're going to. Okay. We want to talk about real sewing machine things. So what has happened, Fran, is your washer and your bobbin winder has probably worn out. What I do is I just, when I push my bobbin winder to make contact with my belt, I give it a light pressure with my... Hmm? So it's pretty straight, Lawrence. That one is pretty straight. With my pointer finger and it makes better contact and then it spins. Also, if your bobbin winder hasn't seen any oil in a long time, you might want to do that too. Okay, mom's favorite uh, tradition is decorating and going to see outdoor Christmas lights. You guys have the Christmas ships up there. Not this year, I don't think. Um, we're supposed to have them on December 12th on Lake Ray Hubbard. Very nice, very cool. And Miss Bonnie, Hallmark Christmas movies. My granddaughter even bought me a t-shirt that says a Hallmark movie watching shirt. That's awesome. Your granddaughter has a good sense of humor. 
Katie, hi Katie. Die, Die Hard is the best Christmas movie ever. <laughs> we love driving around and looking at lights too. Lisa says in Arizona. I will say that while living in Arizona, um, the everybody went off the deep end with decorating outside. Did you notice that? Like, well, it was the same as Halloween. Yeah, it wasn't even just Christmas. It was Halloween too. I think it's because they didn't have the inclement weather, so they could get on the roofs and you know hang stuff and. Nothing. <laughs> I thought you already had 10 of those. <laughs> She's here for the cookies. <laughs> oh, yes. Love Actually, Renata. That is another good movie. Ser or Serendipity. That's another good movie. Oh, The Grinch. I love the one with Jim Carrey, Sandra. I love that one, too. What? Oh, you want oh how many? What color is that? Um, four. Four. Seven. Hi, Jennifer from Alabama. She says, I'm late. Headed home from shopping in Atlanta. <laughs> That's all right. Get your Christmas shopping done, girl. We are pretty much doing everything online this year. Mostly because I can send stuff to other people's houses because of the snoop here. She is the worst. Last year, you guys, I hid presents at other people's houses and I had put some receipts on my desk so I could, you know, do some budgeting and stuff. This one went through my receipts and when the, it wasn't obvious on the receipt what the gift was, she looked up the skew on the receipt on their website. Worked out great. <laughs> <laughs> even went out with the motor oh nice to see the lights that's a oh, home alone i love home alone we just watched that the other day oh polar express that's a good one linda you guys are like adding to my christmas watch list we try to watch at least one christmas movie every weekend in december at least one Mom, did you see Deb today? Did she come see you? Oh, Jennifer says, on my line shopping is my favorite. With all the funny ones and also White Christmas, it's a classic. I, I agree. <gasps> Bernadette, hello for, from um, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I think you're in Edmonton. Thanks for joining us. I am literally just sewing W's on here. God, I said so was wrong with that. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. So what's wrong with what? I found my son's PJs at same... With what? Oh, snooping. Oh, is she get it from you? Is that where she gets it from? She's horrible. Uh, let's see. I found my son's PJs that says, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> Oh, Woodstock, Ontario. Thank you. So I decided I um, every year I do a um, Christmas cookie exchange. But with COVID, I decided I was really going to limit my how and when I was going to do it. And so I'm just having like two other ladies over to do the cookie exchange decorating part. I'm kind of well known for my sugar cookie recipe. If you guys are good, I will share it with you when we get a little closer. Oh, that's a lot of cuts. <laughs> Rogue's behind the door going, oh, rah, 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 rah. It's getting to be dinner time, so he's like, hey, hey. hold on a second. Um, so I think I'm still going to have it, but just on a very limited basis. Oh, shoot. You know what? I, we scheduled it on the 12th, and we're going to be in Arizona. Scheduled what? The cookie decorating oh, party. I'll have to move that. All right. Background. Sandy. <laughs> the other grandma's denying contributing to Reagan's snoopiness. I don't know if I believe her. 
Sandy Reese says, thank you for sending me my order. So much fun to look at my my order, packing to move, so no time to clean the featherweight, but I'll have what I need, oil and lube when the time permits. That's great. I'm glad. Hope this is a good move. Planet of the Apes. I have not, as a Christmas movie, Planet of the Apes? Hmm, I haven't checked that one out. Have you all seen Planet of the Apes? Didn't no, you want to co-watch it? Yeah. Okay. You probably made me watch it, but I don't remember. So you need a 13-inch strip of fabric. Um, and then 32 four-inch strips. 32? Mm-hmm. Get cutting. Well, I don't know how to... How oh, to here. <laughs> She's like, oh, you're going to have to help. Okay, so you have to still do that same... <coughs> oh, bless you. Goodness. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to scooch these over here. Okay. Okay, so this one didn't get cut particularly straight, so we'll straighten the edge. You wonder why you cut yourself so much. Mind your own business, girl. Okay, so what's the first one? Oh, the new Planet of the Apes are better. No comment about the filthy movie. <laughs> what? Four inch, just cut 32, four inch. Start there. You need to cut. What time is it? It's 32, four. Eight pounds, four. Okay. She's doing quilt math in her mind. Uh-oh, no. Oh, she said, everyone says, blood. <laughs> No, everybody says bless you. <laughs> Usually she sneezes so loud it scares the next door neighbors. So I was glad that that was a tame one for you guys. Sorry, am I in your way? Yeah. This is straight. Oh, Deanne says, I bought my six-year-old granddaughter a sewing machine for Christmas. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. She says, I can't wait to have my sewing partner. That's amazing. I hope you guys have so much fun. Yes. This is straight. What's straight? This is. Yeah, that looks good. This isn't. You're on the you're on the cut. Just make sure always make sure you line up to the fold. Oh, yeah. And then you oh I see what you're saying. Okay. I'm sorry. Whoopsie. There you go. Okay. Mom says, why don't you cut with your left hand? Because I cannot cut with my left hand. Who can cut with their left hand? Linda Wood says, I inspired a lady to get her out her machine. She said it was tangled up in the bobbin area. Come to find out, oh, she has never cleaned the lint out of the bobbin area. Not a featherweight, but still. Holy moly. Fran said, at what age did your daughter show interest in quilting? Okay, so there's a funny story about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you in just a minute, friends. Sandy Reese says, moving back to New England from Florida. Love the sound of that machine. Me too. Me too. She's my favorite. So funny thing about Ray, when she was little, I used to tell people that she was kind of like a cat. So if you... No cats, they're a little persnickety, and um, if you really want to be friends with the cat and pet the cat, the cat will totally ignore you. But if you ignore the cat, then the cat will come sit in your lap. That was my daughter when she was little. So she's very much went what she wants in her own time, you know, on her own schedule. So both uh, her grandmother, Nancy, who's on here, and I were 
professional quilters and we really wanted her to sew but we knew that if we made it our idea she was never going to love it like we do so I waited a really long time and I'll never forget it was actually around Christmas time and I was like all kinds of crazy busy with orders and trying to get people's Christmas presents out and she had to be shoot you had to be what Ray six or seven she comes float in my studio and she what are you doing mom you know she starts what what are you working on and I show we're showing her I was working on a um a quilt that had popsicle sticks it was like you cut out the popsicles and she was like can I cut one out and I'm like thinking about giving her my fabric scissors and I'm like yeah you can cut one out. So she cut out of that. So that was the first thing. And then like a few weeks later, I was working on some other stuff that had that Angelina on it. You know what I'm talking about? That it looks like hair, but it's like glittery. And if you put it in between like an applique pressing, pressing cloth, it actually kind of looks like kind of like a rat's nest a little bit, but it's glittery and shimmery. And so I, <laughs> I landed up she came another tight time frame. T what are you doing? Oh, I missed a little bit. Oh, tight deadline. And she comes up to me and she's like, what are you doing? And she starts picking this some scraps out of the trash. She goes, let's make something. And I was like, what deadline? And I just picked up my project and I put it aside. And her and I did something with the scraps that I had just put into my scrap pile. Um, and so it was like little things like that that kind of got me got her interest in working with me short little things she's always been a fan of quilts you want me to fix that but um but not necessarily of the work for the quilts but as she's gotten older um and during the face mask making thing she's really kind of coming to her own with it now like if I did not teach her how to do the cutting part, that is her grandmother. <laughs> because I would never have handed her a rotary cutter. And Nancy had her one day. And that's what they did. They cut out a quilt. So now she knows how to cut a quilt out because of Nancy. Oh, she was teaching her how to sew buttons on by hand today. That's fun. She thought it was so fun. Very fun. <laughs> my, uh, so my, my grandmother was the sewer when not growing up but she was a seamstress and then it wasn't until my mother-in-law came on the scene when I met her son that I get got an interest in quilting um, and it was really kind of stemmed from my love of scrapbooking at that time and how the colors went together and the different textures but I liked having the soft blanket instead of like a photo scrapbook so that's kind of how it started for me oh, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> don't you give me a dirty look Well, today, after that big, heavy dinner yesterday, and then we're having another big, heavy dinner tomorrow, I decided we were going to do some comfort food tonight. So we're doing the potato dumpling no no uh, nochi and a marinara sauce for dinner. I'm pretty excited. Sounds, sounds good tonight.
the look. My girls used to give me the look. Mm-hmm. I get the look. <laughs> Denise made herself a dress. I think it was ninth grade. Yeah. Denise and I both used to kind of do that stuff, actually. Bridget from Rimrock. Hi, Bridget. My daughter has no interest in sewing. She says she has me and doesn't need to know how to sew. Hmm. That's sad. Deanne says, I acquired some vintage quilt tops that I want to finish. Is it okay to machine quilt or hand stitch the quilt top? Um, so Deanne, it just kind of depends. Uh, technically speaking, if they're vintage and they were hand pieced, they should be hand quilted. But I don't know how to hand quilt things. I only know how to machine quilt things. And for me, it's not a value thing, but it's a use thing. If I had to hand quilt the quilts, they'll probably never get done. And I'd rather have them and use them. And so I, if it were me, would machine quilt them. But technically speaking, value wise, if it's a hand pieced antique quilt top, you want to hand quilt it. But for me, it's all about being able to get it done. Uh, Carolyn, what is your secret to machine quilting without pin basting and getting no puckers? So technically, um, I start quilting from the inside of a quilt and work my way out. Um, so that's one way to help reduce puckers. Also, I'll use a walking foot for straight quilting and the free motion foot for um, for free motion quilting. If you use the regular walking foot, the one that came with it, which is the thick and the thin toed, that's the four millimeter toe or foot, I should say. And that's for doing a French hem. It isn't necessarily meant for quilting. So you want to use the right feet for the right project. That in and of itself should reduce um, your puckering. I also do pin based, uh, starting again from the middle and working my way to the outside. I did not pin base this. I was kind of being lazy, um, mostly because it doesn't really matter on this quilt if there's any puckers or tucks because this is the inside of the pillow topper so the black fabric is never going to be seen because I'm going to put a red backing on it to envelope the pillow form in. So fun food to start Christmas holidays is a nat I have not I can't even pronounce that Pam. How do you pronounce that? Nat nat sh shit sheet oh meat pies? What is that? Sounds delicious. going over there. Renata says, I was interested in sewing. I wasn't interested in sewing until much later in life, so I'm holding out hope for my 12-year-old. I would definitely hold on to hope. Oh, Niyaki. Niyaki? Okay. <laughs> what is a Niyaki pot meat pie? It sounds delicious. You said pie and meat all in the same word. I think that sounds great. Steel, oh, Steel Magnolias was formed. Was, I love that movie. Went out of my daughter is 28. I'm still hoping. <laughs> We're all still hoping. Okay. Okay. Quilting for a lot of people is like a season of life thing. If you don't grow up doing it like, you know, like uh, some ladies and then, you know, like I didn't find any of this stuff really attractive 
until I was having children on my own and I wanted to, you know, make things for the kids and, and that kind of thing. So maybe you never know, you never know what could happen. this many it's not uncommon to like have to square off a few times okay I think with anything like this having a good teacher and the right teacher in your in your moment when you're trying to figure this out is what makes the whole difference for a lot of people try not Co ditch meat pies. Very good. I will definitely give it a go. Wonder if her meat pies are like the French meat pies with the pork and the hamburg with mashed potatoes. Damn, you guys are making me hungry. I have a blanket obsession, Kelly M says. So quilting is perfect. I agree. <laughs> I can make my own instead of buying them off the shelf. Perfect. I love it. I don't think they have pork or potatoes in oh pork or potatoes in them at least that's what the recipe I have okay all right I'm making a good dent This, um, for those of you who are looking for a quick little pillow topper idea, by the way, this went together very fast today. I mean, I think I started it and it, the top maybe took me an hour to put together. Obviously, the quilting is taking a little bit longer, but. Kelly, I know that you were, Kelly M on YouTube, I know that you were busy earlier this week. Um, but I did answer your question on the Wednesday Thanksgiving show about what my favorite tools were in my studio. So if you haven't already, you should check out the Thanksgiving, the eve of Thanksgiving show I did. say I keep hoping she made her first Thanksgiving dinner this year well that's good at 41 what Nakatish. oh okay thank you sweetheart thanks Pam <laughs> oh <laughs> Kelly said I I saw that that was awesome I have more questions too fire away sugar pie fire away
few other seasons. You guys are making me hungry on the thread. pies with ground beef and pork oh nice okay thanks judy are you jumping off you have a good weekend too i'm gonna jump off here in a little bit not quite yet maybe we should watch die hard later no, we have to watch four Christmas. oh four christmases that's on the movie list tonight my okay. crime Reagan and I have been binging that show um, called The Crown on Netflix. It's the, we're into the Diana season, uh, the Princess of Wales. Really well done. Really well done. Okay, she says, ah, I think it's how you use the giant ruler to make half square triangles. Oh, I can do, maybe I should talk about that on Monday. Uh, where is that little guy? This thing. So, I, you know what, I might, I'll demonstrate on Monday, because Ray can camera hold for me, and I'll show you how to use it. This, this little guy, even if you're not making half square triangles, the fact that it has the seam line going all the way through is pretty spectacular. I can talk more about that. <sighs> <laughs> oh, the flight attendant, binge-worthy, not P. Oh, okay. Thanks for the heads up on that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, is it time to get off yet? What time? Oh, I got to go. They're going to kick me off. Holy moly. The Crown Great Show opens your eyes to how they live. Very true. You guys, thank you so much for joining Ray and I. She talks so much, I could barely get a word in edgewise. <laughs> Uh, thanks for joining me tonight on the Sip and Sew. I'll be back on Monday. I'm going to do a better demonstration on how to use the angler, the Pam Bono Designs angler. Um, and I think there was a few other questions that came in on the, um, the singer troubleshooting group that I run on Facebook. So I'm going to pull those off and we'll meet back here on Monday at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 minutes before on Instagram for the pre-show. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope everybody has a fabulous evening.